Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. I'm your host, Ari Snyder. Today is Friday, January 12th, and here are the week's top stories. Nearly half of the students enrolled in Maine's community college system during the 2022 school year took advantage of a free tuition program offered through the state. In a report to the legislature, the system says more than 6,500 students were enrolled through the initiative, including students who otherwise would not have gone to college. The system has given out more than $10 million to students through the free college initiative. That's just over half the $20 million the legislature allocated for the effort. It pays community college tuition and fees for recent high school graduates. Overall enrollment in the system increased 12% in the 2022 school year, nearing pre-pandemic levels. Free college students made up 46% of degree-seeking students. Local officials continue to assess the extent of damage from last month's wind and rainstorm that caused extensive flooding across the state. In hard-hit Oxford County in western Maine, emergency management agency officials estimated $5.7 million in damage to public roads, bridges, and buildings. The U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack visited Maine this week to discuss the storm's impact on the state's agricultural industry. If federal officials find that damage reaches a certain threshold, Governor Janet Mills can request a formal disaster declaration. A national progressive think tank says that hospital consolidation has driven up the cost of medical care in Maine. The case study by The Third Way says the costs exceed the national average by 25% and are the highest in New England. The group says one leading factor is that Maine Health owes a quarter of all hospitals in the state, giving it considerable leverage in setting prices. The group recommends that state and federal lawmakers strengthen hospital price transparency, limit facility fees, and restrict tactics that reduce competition when negotiating insurance contracts. The Maine Hospital Association says the study mischaracterizes cost drivers in the state, which include the aging population, rural service areas, and Medicare and Medicaid plans that don't cover the full cost of care. State lawmakers are considering a bill that would enter Maine into an interstate agreement to elect the U.S. president by popular vote. Currently, the president is elected by the Electoral College, in which each state awards a set number of presidential electors. Sixteen states in the District of Columbia have joined the pact, as has every New England state except for Maine and New Hampshire. The agreement would go into effect when enough states have joined, to give it a majority of total electoral college votes. This has been Maine Public News Connect. We'll see you next time. Thank you to our excellent community partners for supporting and contributing to this program. Maine Public News Connect has been made possible by individual supporters and foundations from across Maine, as well as Ku and Patricia Ewan, Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, Maine Housing, and IDEX. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Ku and Patricia Ewan, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. What a year. Junto. Seaport Credit Union. Together. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at Hannaford.com. At Maine Housing, we know an affordable home is key. Our first home loan program offers Mainers low interest rates and down payment assistance on multi-unit properties. Learn more at MainHousing.org. You can compare plans and get financial help to lower your cost at CoverMe.gov, a resource for finding health insurance that fits at a price that works. Good work lives here. The Maine Apprenticeship Program gives you a paid job and training. Learn more at maine.gov apprenticeship. 